Hi, I'm Jeff, the designer behind this 5-room resale flat in Bogi Pato. It belongs to a couple with two young children. The house has a dark, modern lux theme as the owner wanted a soothing, cozy home to return to after a long day at work. We also focus on creating a sense of grandeur with the lighting, like in hotels. Right from the entrance, the owners wanted a spoiler to stand out. So we painted the entryway stretch with stucco paint that resembled lime wash. Besides blending in with the rest of the design, the grey concealed the metal door of the household shelter. Meanwhile, the magnetic track lighting overhead leads to the living room, like it's guiding the flow of the space. At the living room, we created a curved display niche in the shoe cabinet so it wouldn't look plain. It takes a skilled carpenter to achieve the fluted panels in such a curve. So I think this feature really stands out. We made the TV feature a single continuous layer. This makes the space feel bigger since there aren't any additional lines or a protruding second layer. The owners like curves so we incorporated them around the home. Look aside, having smoother edges also make it safer space for the kids when they run around. One example is the age of the TV console. Instead of lengthening it to cover the entire wall, we keep it shorter for a modern look. The living room connects seamlessly with the kitchen and dining space. This is the only area where we change the layout at the owner's request as they cook often and needed more space. We hack the kitchen service yard walls to open up the space. After hacking, we have the red area on one side and the dry area on the other for food prep. Moving to the dining area, this customized kitchen island will immediately catch your attention. It's not just the tabletop that curve. The support leg is a circular column with a fluted design that requires more time to fabricate than a rectangular island. Of course, it must be practical as well, so the island is dual purpose. It serves as extra storage and prep space for the owners. The storage part is facing the kitchen, so that when you walk in from the foyer, you see the clean side without visible drawer lines. For the master bedroom, the owners wanted to maximize the limited square feet while maintaining the dark and cozy feel. The most outstanding feature is the headboard. I proposed this design because the owner wanted something distinct. The laminate and mirrors are on a different layer since we need a gap to install the LED strips. This adds depth to the feature while the warm lighting creates a comfortable atmosphere. We built a dresser into the side of the wardrobe for the wife to get ready and to store her makeup items. Since the vanity drawer is shallow, we install shelves above the double as storage and display. We also suggested a simple bag display which is quite functional since the owners can easily reach for their bags. The dark theme continues in the master and suite. It comes with more wood tones to create a spa-like ambience. The common bathroom looks much like the master and suite, but with 600 by 600 tiles for the walls instead. With such dark tiles, we could use dark cement like grout in the joint lines to prevent dirt from easily showing up. For the flooring, we use smaller tiles, unlike large pieces which cannot be bent. They can be adjusted piece by piece for a better water gradient in the bathroom. Renovating this flat came with challenges. There were a handful of unforeseen design changes we had to make midway. That's why I appreciate how collaborative and communicative the owners were. They were also open to our suggestions and alternatives, which make the process quite smooth. When you step into this home, the overall design is really impressive and the lighting makes all the difference in mood. I've been here a few times since the renovation 
and it's great to hear from the owners that it's very comfortable. After all, that's what a home should be.